Hello, this is Chris from Inkfrog. Today I'm going to show you a guide on how to apply a Inkfrog designer template to an existing listing on eBay which already has a template from another service provider. There, there's some issues that kind of arise when you do this and we've seen this happen again and again uh, with a couple of customers and we just want to put it together a really quick guide. This video should take about five minutes. It's really straightforward but it'll explain what causes this and how you fix it. So, we have a customer called Brookies, and they have this item description. It's a very nice looking template. This template came from their original eBay listing provider software. It's great, it looks really nice, and they asked us to clone it uh, into Inkfrog Designer, which we did. We created an almost perfect clone of it. See the entire thing here. We made a few minor modifications, but it, it's the same thing. Now what happens is they have their listing here, and if I scroll down, we can see that they have selected the Inkfrog Designer template that we created. What happens though, if I preview this listing, is you get kind of a weird looking listing. So you get our template, which is what you're seeing here. Everything around here is the Inkfrog Designer template. But then right here on the right, you're seeing their original template is embedded into the designer template. This is called a nested template problem. And basically it happens when you have a listing from a third party provider, say a crazy lister or Octiva or wonder lister, or there's a couple other ones, but those are the big ones. If you bring your inventory over to Inkfrog and their template is encoded into your item descriptions, you get this kind of a messy situation and it doesn't look great on eBay. The way we fix this, is we go into the original item description, which we've got here in this box. We are looking for the actual item description field, which on the original template is down here. It's these three sentences. All we're going to do is copy them by hitting Control C on Windows. I'm afraid I don't know what the command is on a Macintosh, sorry. Once you've got that copied, we go into the code editor, which is here by clicking on this little HTML button that shows us the code behind the listing. We're going to select everything in this box. Uh, on Windows, you could do that by hitting Control A. Again, I don't know what the shortcut is on a Macintosh. We're going to delete everything so that we've got nothing in this box. And then we're going to paste in the original item description, those three sentences. Now, if we leave it just like this, those three sentences are going to display as one sentence. We have to add a little bit of HTML code. These are called paragraph tags. Basically, you do them for each paragraph. only takes a minute to do this. There we go. Now our item description is those three sentences. Now, if you're looking at this and you saw originally that your template was in there and it's gone now, that might make you panic a little. But don't worry, because with Inkfrog, our template system is actually separate from the item description field. So even though it looks like there's nothing here, further down here, we have the template actually selected right here. So you can see a preview saying this is what the template is. But once we've made that change, we're just going to save it to the library. We're not going to publish it. So we saved it. And now we can preview the listing again. Here we go. And there we go. It's fixed. So now the item description field is showing properly where it's supposed to, on the right beside of the picture, instead of having that nested template problem. If you push this to eBay now by hitting Save and Publish to eBay, it would appear like this, and it would look great. Everything else on the template looks fine, so we're good to go. I hope that uh, answers how to do this. I know it's a bit of an inconvenience if you have a lot of listings. It does take some time, but it needs to be done, unfortunately, if you have a legacy template from another listing provider. I hope you have a wonderful day.